Um, Alessandro himself is an artist, um, he's a musician and a filmmaker, and he works um, in Italy, in Abruzzo, in, which is central Italy. And uh, last year, um, I was over in Italy, and we were talking about the idea of doing something together. And Alessandro did have an idea for a film. Um, the idea came out of um, the earthquake in L'Aquila, which is the, uh, the capital city of his region, uh, which was hit by a major quake, and it completely devastated the town. Mm. He was deeply uh, kind of moved by the experience. Coupled with that, he was suffering a migraine, and he felt this kind of dislocation and this uh, kind of hyper-reality feeling while walking down Central Road in the old city. This experience, this kind of almost kind of surrealist experience for himself, kind of connected with the idea of earthquakes and the idea of the collective conscious and the idea of cities being a living a living thing and a living character. And that kind of, uh, from there on, he started doing some research and he discovered images of the catfish, which is the Jishin Namazu uh, uh, from Japanese mythology. And with those ideas, uh, t together with his own imagination, um, he started working on a storyline which turned into Edenism. And so I was actually over with, at Lorenzo's place and we were talking it through and it was entirely by chance but um, Alexandro, Lorenzo's cousin, the director of the film, popped up on Skype exactly while I was there and so the three of us began discussing mm. the film together and then I think it was a natural progression in a way of uh, sort of becoming involved and um, Alexandro actually asked me on the spot if I would um, take a role you know, in the film of uh, Sophie, who's the uh, ex-wife of the, the main character, um, James Holway, in the film. And so um, I thought, gosh, I've never like, been in a film before, but um, I would love to. It's sort of like a, a fantastic experience. So I said yes. And then what actually happened then? Um, I became involved in the production, and um, apart from playing the supporting role of Sophie, I also became assistant producer as well. And I was involved with some logistics of the, uh, the film. Well, they were trying to achieve a lot on le very limited resources in a very sort of tight time frame. Um, and they also used my apartment and and uh, my building itself and the surroundings around where I live is actually, uh, the river as well, is actually used a lot in, in the film. When Alessandro wrote the initial screenplay, I mean, we were reading through it and I was thinking, wow, we've got a lot of different locations all over Tokyo here. It's going to be... We were actually about, worried how, how we were going to do, do some of these things. Yeah. Uh, somehow we managed. We're but, talking myth mythical creatures yeah, and no. earthquakes. <laughs> And like backstory, like yeah. you know, you probably need a ten millions of dollars to do with Hollywood, but somehow we managed it. This is the thing, uh, nothing's impossible so long as you can get people to agree to do so. I think people having the opportunity to collaborate um, are people are actually looking for that. Yeah. You know, people would, would want to work on this sort of calibre of project. We put our team together from friends and extended network. With all those people working together on the project, we were able to get it done. Um, but I think it's, it, it really is testament to the power of like, you've got to get out there and meet people and connect with people. And I think Tokyo is a great place to do that. So you can get a lot done and a lot of people are willing to work on creative projects. So I think it's, um, you know, it's very doable here.